I married Joe. What a girl, what a world, what a life. Oh, I married Joe. What a mind, love is blind, what a wife. Joan Davis. With Jim Backus in I Saturday, Fred? Oh, fine, fine. Sure, we'll be there. Yes, all right, Fred. Goodbye. What did Fred want, honey? Oh, they're having a party at their house a week from Saturday, and they want us to come. A party? Oh, my goodness. Well, what's the matter? Well, I haven't got a thing to wear. You, you what? <laughs> Joan. Joan, come here. I mean... <laughs> Not a thing to wear, huh? That's right. Oh. <laughs> what do you call that? A closet? Joan, you know very well that's not what I meant. Why, well, you've got enough clothes in there to start a store of your own. What's wrong with one of those? Well, Fred and Martha give very fancy parties. Nothing in there is good enough. Oh, nonsense. Well, do you mean you wouldn't be embarrassed if I wore, say, a, a, a robin's egg blue suit with a little flared skirt and a fitted jacket and princess sleeves? Embarrassed? Why should I be embarrassed? I think you'd look great. Good. I'll go out and buy it this afternoon. Huh? John, <laughs> yeah, you come back here. Lover. Yes, lover. Come over here, dear. I want to show you something. Now, Joni, take a good look at that. <laughs> come over here. Nothing to wear, huh? Not a thing. Oh, that's really tough. <laughs> Look. <laughs> oh, Brad, I, I'm so ashamed. That's all right, sweetheart. No, it isn't. I, I'm so selfish. Oh, no, you're not, darling? Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. <laughs> Fred? No, you're not. No. Oh, Brad, you're so sweet, dear. And, well, I'm going to be different from now on. I'm not going to get myself another thing until after you've gotten a new suit. Oh, that's my little sweetheart. Well, it's only the decent thing to do. Well, how would I feel if I got something for myself, knowing that you've got only two little old lonely suits hanging in your closet? Well, I'd feel awful. I'd just feel terrible. I tell you, Brad, I couldn't face myself if I got something before you got a new suit. Really, sweetheart? Well, of course, dear. So let's hurry. Uh, 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 where? To get you a new suit. Joe. How do you do? May I help you? Uh, yes. yes. Uh, he's interested in a suit. Of course. Any particular kind? Well, well I'm sort of a dark suit. Oh, sort of a high Joan. Oh, honey, you always buy those dark, dull suits that make you look like a Paul Bear. But Joan. An old Paul Bear. But Joan. Well, I think it's about time, dear, that you got yourself a happy suit. Something gay. Uh, well, something like this. Excuse me. Now, Joan, if you're going to be the typical wife helping her husband shop, I can leave right now. Oh, no, lover. I, I won't say another word, dear. You promise? I promise. You just pick out any kind of a suit that you want. Oh, no, no. All right. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. It's quite all right, sir. Now, uh, what sort of suit did you have in mind? Well, uh, something in a, in a uh, dark blue or, or black. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, sort of very conservative. You see, I'm a, I'm a judge. Oh, certainly. Uh, well, maybe not not black. Sort of maybe a lighter shade, dark gray. Lighter shade. Yeah. Shall we get the coat off? Yeah. Um, not uh, not too conservative uh, cut. You know. Ooh. Well, sort of maybe something in a, in a lightish gray, single breasted, still with the. <laughs> Uh, sort of a, 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 a pinstripe. Uh -huh. uh, a small pattern, you might say. I think I know exactly what you think. Uh, 
Shall we slip this on? Yes. Uh, we've got a lot of pleasure on this, don't we? Huh? <laughs> All right, I'll, uh, I'll take it. But, Joan, I thought you liked it. Mm -hmm. All right, you could talk. I do, darling. I think it's just beautiful. Well, then why did you go... Oh, this is the only the first suit that you've seen. What has that got to do with it? What has that got to do with it? Well, Brad, I don't understand how you men shop. You don't understand. But, Joan, you liked it and I... Well, well you liked it enough for both of us, so why shouldn't I buy it? Because, dear, this is the first suit that you've seen. And you'll always think that one of the others was much nicer. No, I won't. I won't even have seen them. Well, that's just it. It'll drive you crazy. No, it won't. It'll drive me crazy. <laughs> but... Uh, I see. It's, shall we start down at this end? Well, Joan, what do you think? Well, if you really want my opinion... Yes? I think I like the first one best. <laughs> I uh, guess we could have saved a lot of time if we had taken that one right away. Oh, no, no, not at all. Just about an hour or two. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, I'll take the first. <laughs> Joan, what is it now? Brad, this is only the first store you've shopped. <laughs> Uh, uh, Well-fit clothiers is just around the corner. Do you remember us? Yes. Well, uh, we've decided to take the first suit. Oh, really? Well, I'll ring for the tailor. Perhaps we can have this ready for you in a day or two. Are you busy, Judge? Oh, hello, lover. <laughs> oh. What brings you down here? Well, this, your new suit. They phoned me and told me that it was ready, and I just couldn't resist picking it up and bringing it right over. Oh, that wasn't necessary. Come on, try it on, dear. What, what, here? Well, certainly you don't think I brought it over for nothing, do you? Slip it on, I'm just dying to see it on but you. But, Joni, where? Well... Behind the door. I know, but suppose somebody comes in. Oh, nobody's going to come in, and don't be silly. How long does it take to slip into a pair of trousers? Come on, now. <laughs> All right, this is... <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a happy little suit. Happy, happy. Is the judge here? Well, he... <laughs> oh, I beg your pardon. Uh, what is it, Bailiff? Well, uh, Your Honor, they just picked up Flashy Fenwick. You said you wanted to see him about the testimony he gave in that gambling case. Yeah, well, bring him in. Right, Judge. <laughs> Say, Joni, you know, this, uh, this isn't a bad fit, huh? Why, honey, slip the jacket on. It, it's just beautiful on you, dear. Let's see what's on it. Oh, it's, uh, oh, it's so uh, sporty. I'm not you. <laughs> Yeah, well, I, uh, I hope so, Joni. It's, uh, oh, I love it. Well, uh, look, honey, uh, the bailiff's bringing in uh, Flashy Fenwick and... Uh, see, dear. Just one of the lowest, cheapest criminals in town. Oh, really? Oh, okay, then, darling. I'll be running along. Here's Flashy Fenwick. <laughs> this is a mother and daughter outfit. <laughs> well, excuse me. Bye, mother. Hello, Mr. Harris. Do you remember me? Yes. 
Well, uh, my husband and I were in the other day, you know, and we bought a suit, and it's a nice plaid, gorgeous material. I just love it. My husband is just mad about it. Fits him beautifully, and, well, I'd like to return it. Uh, Mr. Brooks, uh, would you come here for a moment, please? Uh, yes. Mr. Harris? Mr. Brooks, this is Mrs. Stevens. Ah, oh, how do you do, Mrs. Stevens? Uh, Mrs. Stevens is the lady I told you about the other day. Oh, really? That's... <clears throat> nice to have met you. No, 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 Mr. Brooks. Will you take care of Mrs. Stevens? I have to hang up those Crelvins. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm awfully busy. I've got to straighten out the shirts and unbox those dubiceracal talks. Now, if you take care of that old man, I'll really <laughs> Uh, you see, Mr. Brooks, uh, my husband has me, to Mrs. have the Stevens. money back. <laughs> George, you can't do this to me. You wait on her. Have a heart, Frank. I, I, I waited on her the other day. She made me so nervous when I went home the other night, I, I hit my little boy. So what? So what? He hit me back. George, you know the clothing game. When you pick a lemon, you're stuck with it. Go back to Mrs. Lemon. Uh, were you looking for me, boy? Well, who lost? Uh, 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 Mr. Brooks will wait on you. I, I have to go down to the drugstore. I've got a knot in my kill blood. What? Uh, in my kill blood. It's about a six-pounder. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Brooks, I, I simply must have the money back on that suit. Now, see here, Mrs. Lemon, uh, Stevens, we absolutely cannot refund money on any suit that has been altered. And that is final? Excuse me. I have to see the tailor about a fever dime on his blazon. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Uh, are there any salesmen around? No, one's got a knot in his spillblatt and the other one is fever diming on the glazing. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it's too bad. I, I wanted to buy a suit. Uh, did you have any particular kind of suit in mind? Well, no, no, I, I hadn't quite decided yet. How do you do? I'm one of the new salesmen, a sales lady. Oh, a sales lady? <laughs> well, I, I don't think I've ever bought a suit from a lady before. Oh, well, it's a new policy. The store just installed it. <laughs> well, after all, now, why does a man buy a suit? To please a woman. And I'm a woman, so if it pleases me, it'll please your wife. Well, I'm, I'm afraid I, I don't have a wife. As a matter of fact, all I've got is a, a little dog. Oh. Well, if it pleases me, it'll please your dog. <laughs> Let's go. Well, what's the rush? Oh, well, I want to make a sale before the other salesmen come back. You see, they're very jealous of me. We work on commission. You're my 5,631st customer. You may win a prize. You're a lucky man. Now, let me see. Um, I would say uh, a perfect 44. 44? No, no, no. I've always been a 36. With that chest, maybe when your chest is deflated. But go ahead, inhale. <laughs> yes, sir, you see? 44. No, 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 I'm sure I'm a 36. Look, couldn't you sort of measure me to make sure? <laughs> oh, yeah, sir, just step right over here, sir. Yeah? Huh? 44? No, no, I mean, around the chest. Oh, you're not ticklish, I'll take it then. All right, turn around, sir. <laughs> yeah, what does that say? That says 44. I told you. you no, but, madam, I, I wear a 36. And that's what I want, a 36. All right. The customer is always right, sir. If you want a 36, that's what you'll get, a 36. But I must warn you, uh, the uh, 36s are running a little large this season. <laughs> Here we are. Uh, shall I wrap it up? Uh, where's the mirror? <laughs> Not over here, sir. The front of it isn't bad. Shall I wrap it up? Well, not so fast. I'd like to have another look at it. All righty. 
There we are. <laughs> oh, you're very smart to take that second look. There's no sense in rushing into things. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Well, yes, yes, it is beautiful. Now, uh, will that be check or cash? I can walk to the bank with you, sir. Well, you know what I was thinking? I'd like to see a blue suit. Yes, a blue suit. Mm -hmm. A blue suit? <laughs> Just happen to have one here, sir. <laughs> well, the finest blue we have. On second thought, let me see the plaid one again. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. There we are. You know, I'm not so sure I like this one either. Well, you can't appreciate the suit unless you try on the trousers. Well, I don't think the trousers will make a difference. It would if you were in mixed company. Ha, <laughs> 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 ha! Now, I what you do. You go right into a dressing room back there. And please hurry, sir, because I may have the suit sold before you get out. I wouldn't want to waste any time. Thank you. Why, it looks custom-tailored. Shall I wrap it up? I think I'll look in the mirror. <laughs> I turned it, sir. Uh, I, I, uh, I wouldn't look in the mirror because you know something? Mirrors often lie to a person. Why, I knew a girl that was a beautiful I girl. I like it. And every time that she looked into a mirror, yes, she would start indeed. to cry. Because I like she it. thought that she had big bags under her eyes. I certainly like it. me, if she was the... <laughs> you like it? You, you... <laughs> Well, yes. Uh, shall I wrap it up, or uh, will you wear it out? Uh, that'll be eighty-five dollars, sir. Well, I think I think it needs some alterations. Alterations? Okay, yes. The the sleeves are a little long. Well, maybe just a teensy weensy bit. <laughs> but look, we can fix that right up for you. Here you are, sir. <laughs> no trouble to that at all. There you are. That'll be eighty-five dollars now, please. But this is no good. What kind of alterations are these? Why don't you pay me for the suit now, and you bring the suit back tomorrow, and we'll alter it for you then. Oh, no, not tomorrow. I want the alterations now. But I... Now or no money. Now or no... Uh, you sure you like the suit now? Oh, I like the suit. Yeah, I wouldn't want to cut suit if you weren't going to take it. Well, I'm going to take it. Well, that's good. Now, uh, well, you want sleeves off just a little bit, huh? Just a little bit, huh? All righty. <laughs> hey. All right, now that'll be 80. <laughs> Well, uh, they're showing uh, more cup this year, you know. That's the latest? Listen, lady. The right sleeve. It's too long. <laughs> I can fix that right up for you. It's too long. Well, yes. A little more off. This boy is not well. <laughs> ah, there we are. Say, that's better. Yes, uh, that'll be $85, please. You know, the lapels are too large. Uh, lapels too large? But you like the suit. Oh, I like the suit. You're going to take the suit. I'm going to take the suit. You got the money for the suit? Money? <laughs> Two thin lapels coming up. Yeah. There they are. <laughs> now you'll be the only person in town with lapels like that. Yeah. That'll be $85 now, please. <laughs> you know, I like a suit with a vent in the back. A vent? Yeah, slid it up the side. <laughs> nice short vent. Well, that's nice and airy, all right. <laughs> That'll uh, be $85, please. You know, the jacket seems kind of long. Could you shorten it a little bit? I guess I could sh shorten it. Yeah, a little shorter. A little shorter? Yeah, I think. A little shorter? A little shorter? Yeah, a little shorter. A little shorter. I like it. You know something? I like it, too. Yes, sir, it looks gorgeous on you. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yes, don't, don't touch a thing more on that jacket. But what about the pants? 
Now, look, why don't you leave the pants long to go with your short jacket? No. Cut it. break just about right. I like it. Oh, that's fine. Of course, it's none of my business, but I would suggest that we stop cutting now unless you would like to have a bikini bathing suit. No, no, I don't think we ought to do anything else to it. I'll take it just as it is. Fine, that'll be $85. $85. Yes. Hello, Charlie. <laughs> What's going on? You got away from me again. Oh, that's not fair, Z. He always finds me. You mean he's... Uh, yes, that's right. Uh, come along, Charlie. What a dope friend. I should have known better. How could anybody be that stupid? Uh, lady, uh, did Charlie do any damage while he was in here? Sometimes he gets a little playful. Any damage? Well, this was my husband's suit. It cost eighty-five dollars, and I, he told me to put a bet in the back, and I split the whole thing up. And I was going to go to a party, and I had a nice dress. There you are, eighty-five dollars. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, 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 that'll be five dollars extra for alterations, please. I like it. Oh, lover. Oh, Joan, I'm glad that you. Say, the new dress. <laughs> Isn't it lovely, dear? And look, I, I got it for only twenty-two forty. Am I ready for that party now? Joan, I thought you promised not to get a new dress until I got a new suit. Well, of course. And I didn't. Look. <laughs> I bought you a new suit. A happy but dignified blue. You mean they, they refunded your money on the other suit? Well, uh, not exactly, dear. I, I sold that one to the nicest little man any liked. It. Oh, that's wonderful, dear. Well, do you like him, too? Well, yes, yes, uh, very much, but... Uh, but about what? Well, dear, I've been thinking about what you said, and, and you're right. You know, maybe I should get a, well, sort of a sportier suit. Huh? Uh, so, come on, let, let's go back and exchange it. No, hold it, Brad. We, we can't go back. Why not? Well, uh, they sold me the suit at cost if I promise never to go into the store again. <laughs> I married Joan. What a girl. 